the ANC's Integrity Commission, agent for change or shameless election winner dressing. South Africa clearly hasn't learned any lessons from the Zonda Commission. Over four years and one billion rand in taxpayers' money later, the recommendations for the prosecution of almost 1,500 key players have been largely ignored and there have been few, if any, arrests, trials or punishments. And yet, clearly undeterred by the spectacular lack of tangible results and a complete absence of any kind of return on investment, ANC Secretary General Fakili Humbulula recently announced the establishment of the Integrity Commission. The ANC has said it believes the Integrity Commission will play a crucial role in sanitizing the ANC's image leading up to the 2024 elections. This is interesting, as its main function should surely be to find and prosecute government officials guilty of corruption, fraud and other wrongdoings. Instead, we have Mr. Mbulula saying, we can no longer protect wrongdoing. We have been through shielding and protecting each other, but now we have mechanisms in place as a party to deal with this wrongdoing should any one of us be implicated. Sadly, this is not the first time we've heard these promises. When Cyril Ramaphosa was elected as the leader of the ANC in 2017, he stated, corruption must be fought with the same intensity and purpose that we fight poverty, unemployment and inequality, and that we must also act fearlessly against alleged corruption and abuse of office within our ranks. Six years later, we're dealing with the consequences of more corruption and abuse of office that you can shake a stick at. The question now is, a year shy of national and provincial elections in our country, does anyone really think another toothless commission will change anything. Do we really believe this is anything other than a thinly disguised way to hide corruption and even more efficiently thanks to the commission being allocated an official budget? The 2024 elections will be the decider. Will voters see enough to convince them to give the ANC another chance or will they vote with their feet and support the opposition? I for one am desperately hoping sanity will finally prevail and that the trees will at last stop voting for the axe simply because it has a wooden handle. My name is Gordon van Weyck from JGL Forensic Services and thank you for listening. If you have not read the full article entitled The ANC's Integrity Commission, Agent for Change or Shameless Election Window Dressing, then please click on the link below to access the article. Feel free to like, comment and share this video and the full article. Let us know what you feel we can do to build a South Africa we are all proud of. Thank you, stay safe, and God bless.